Hey, good afternoon guys. Tush coming at you. Saturday, January the 14th. Just coming up to 1.30 in the afternoon. Getting a little bit of a late start today. And we uh, took the night off last night, so uh, we're going to try to make up for it a little bit uh, today anyway. Um, so we're back on this rear um, apron area. And uh, if you recall the last video, I replaced this uh, tail light section. So uh, I think the next section we're going to do is this flange section. And you can see that I just sort of put in the um, side stiffener panel um, just to check the location of the, we're supposed to be on the top side here on this flange. There are openings for these uh, fastener locations that need to be put into the side flange. And I just wanted to check the profile of the apron versus this closing panel and they seem to line up pretty well so I'm happy with that so that's always good to have that uh, stiffener piece as a sort of a gauge as a profile gauge for when I cut that actual piece of metal out which I'm gonna do shortly uh, we're gonna do this in a two-piece patch like I did the other one so we're probably gonna go about halfway or so and we're gonna replace that area first uh, just to be able to keep the curve and uh, then we'll replace the bottom section next and obviously we're going to have a bit of an issue down here. I think we'll replace it the best we can and then with the understanding that we're probably going to have to go and uh, probably uh, make a new flange piece for the bottom at some point and then before we move down to this area. So that's the plan. It's going to be a multiple, uh, multiple piece patch but uh, we'll start on cutting this uh, this piece out here will probably go just below the uh, the second uh, or the middle fastener on the stiffener piece. So maybe we'll try to go down just below it to capture those two fasteners. All right, guys, we'll come back. Okay, guys, we've been playing around with the shrinker a little bit, and uh, we've got that patch in there, and I think it looks pretty good. You can sort of see the curve in it here, and it's following that uh, all the way down, which is a good thing. So I think we'll. Uh, Probably mark and drill out the two holes for the uh, cage nuts that are in behind. And uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, weld this patch in. We're going to do a little sandblasting on the inner edge before we do that. But like I said, we'll get the patch ready to go and uh, then we'll weld it in after we do that sandblasting. Alright guys, we'll come back. Okay, quick update. I'm happy with the first uh, part of the patch. Obviously it still needs to be ground down, but uh, it's fitting in there quite well. And I've got it uh, bolted up to that uh, stiffener, so uh, that looks great so far. So we'll endeavor to do the uh, back part of this patch. So uh, we're going to cut along the lines and we'll fix that flange down to the bottom and then we'll move on to another part. So the second little area is cut out and uh, we'll just remove that. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll place that flange, probably only weld it up to here, uh, just to keep that for a reference point because obviously this piece needs to be cut out. So I think what I'll do is I'll make this flange and then we'll cut this piece down and we'll weld it back up to this flange piece once we get that fixed in. And we'll have to worry about this curvy bit, this curvy flange down here. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. We'll uh, piece it together as best we can. All right, we'll come back. Okay guys, quick update for you. We've made the second patch and uh, it seems to be fitting in there pretty well. So the intent is to uh, just tack this in like I said and uh, sort of attach it to the, uh, if they can see that with my arm in the way, but attach it to that bottom flange there, just tack it, just to keep a reference. And then we'll start repairing all this uh, damage down in this corner here. So we're just going to tack this in there and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, quick update. Uh, we've got that uh, flange welded in as far as we're going to go. It uh, looks pretty good. I need to obviously trim this edge down to meet the other edge, but we've got it uh, bolted in with the stiffener and uh, this seems to line up pretty good on the back side it's pretty darn close you can see that that's where that uh, is going to end right at that flange so I think we're uh, pretty good there so I think what I want to do now and this will probably be the last thing I do tonight is probably go ahead and cut this piece out I still haven't decided how I'm going to actually do this I'm uh, half a mind actually to create the bottom flange and then weld it uh, along this plate uh, this patch that I do here so uh, I haven't figured that quite out yet um, I did start working on some templates and I was going to start doing small patches so you know so do something like this 
you know, and make the flange in small patches. So I could still do that. Um, it would be fairly easy probably to do that route and just sort of move my way all the way up. But uh, we'll think about it. Um, but uh, I think we're going to go ahead and probably cut the large section out at least. Then again, if I want to go to the small patch, then uh, we probably won't want to do that. So <laughs> let me think about it a bit more. Hey, good morning guys, Tush coming at you. Sunday, February the 5th, just coming up to uh, quarter to 10. And uh, happy to be back out in the garage. It's been uh, a long three weeks. Uh, you might have noticed I've not uh, posted a video, so uh, a little bit of traveling for work to do, unfortunately. Uh, I was in Calgary for a week, and then Vancouver for a week, and then Montreal for a few days, so obviously wasn't home, so that uh, prevented me from being out here working on the car. So uh, we were kind of at a little bit of a critical juncture the last time we left. We we're kind of working back on this area back here, this mess. And if you recall, I managed to get that flange put back on. Uh, not ground down, obviously, but uh, just welded on there. And uh, we were starting to work on this little area back in here, which is kind of complex with those uh, curves and bends. So uh, I've just uh, had a lot of time to think about how I want to approach this. and. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this flange off the bottom uh, and just save this piece. Maybe we'll make a new piece of this and we'll tack it back in place, and then we'll make the repair section down to that flange. Since it's kind of a, it's not a very uh, straight bend here. It's more of a sort of a radius bend. So I'm thinking that I should be able to make that uh, flange and then sort of weld and then grind it. Uh, to make it look uh, half decent. So that's the first attempt that we're going to do. We'll see if that works or not. Uh, I've thought about you know doing it in small sections, but uh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try it that way first, and then uh, we can sort of uh, try something else if that doesn't work. But uh, this is a new uh, experience for me. Uh, as you might recall, I just went ahead and replaced the whole rear valence on the 1960 that I had because I didn't want to have to deal with uh, repairing this type of damage back in this corner. But we're going to attempt to repair this on this car while we'll, we will repair it one way or the other, because uh, I'm not going to re be replacing this valence like I did on the other car. So anyway, enough, uh, enough talking, and uh, we'll get back into uh, cutting mode, cutting, grinding, welding mode. So uh, here we go. Alright guys, just a quick shot of that new uh, bottom flange piece uh, tacked on there. Obviously it's a little wider than it needs to be, but I'll just take the grinder and uh, grind that back afterwards. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this uh, piece of metal out, and we're going to bend it in here and attach it to the bottom flange. Alright guys, we'll come back. Okay guys, just that piece now cut out, so we're going to bend up a uh, piece that looks something like that, hopefully. Should be able to probably shape it by hand. If not, I'm going to shape it over top of an old exhaust uh, pipe. Anyway, we'll give it a shot. We're going to trace it out, cut it out, bend it up. Okay, guys, quick update for you. We made a, a quick template of that uh, patch area, and uh, we sort of bent it in there so we could get the, uh, the shape of the patch. So we created the patch, and uh, we bent it by hand. Looking pretty good. What we're going to do is going to weld it slowly. We'll probably do a little bit of hammer and dolly work, but we got the rough outline done. So that's just sitting in there. So uh, I think we're getting pretty close to being uh, ready to tack that in. So I think we're going to go ahead and that and do that, and uh, we'll give you some shots when we're done. All right, guys, quick update for you. That patch is now in, and uh, everything is ground down. So I think it looks uh, not too bad. It looks 100% uh, better than it did. So I think we'll uh, concentrate now on uh, moving south and uh, we'll repair this section here with the, uh, the two holes and we'll probably go down to that area just where it's uh, being ground down and uh, we'll repair this uh, flange section at the same time. So that's the uh, objective for the next step. So that uh, bottom flange concept seemed to work pretty well for that upper patch. So we're going to do the same concept on this patch. I've got the uh, bottom flange piece cut out, so we're going to tack that into place, top and bottom, and then we'll uh, create that patch, and we'll weld a bead along the edge, and then round it off with the angle grinder. That's the plan. Alright guys, same drill on this patch, a little bit easier, there's not much of a curve in this one, a slight curve, but not much of one. So there's the uh, piece that we've uh, 
taken out. Uh, a little worse for wear. Anyway, we'll make a patch for that and we'll uh, weld that sucker in there. Alright guys, quick update for you. I think we're uh, done for today. It's amazing uh, when you haven't been out here for three weeks how your body kind of forgets on how much punishment it takes getting out here. I'm pretty uh, stiff and sore and I've only been out here probably for about uh, five or six hours so anyway uh, I think that's looking not too bad. Uh, there's probably a little bit more grinding I can do there but uh, I'd probably just rather do a little bit of filler work over top of that. I don't want to make this area too thin uh, so we'll probably just end up leaving that. Um, but I think it looks a lot better than it did. Still need to trim this flange down a little bit. It's still a little wide but uh, that's looking pretty good. You can see I stopped uh, here. That'll be the next repair section I do downwards so uh, I've just not welded it uh, fully there. I also ran into some lead down here so We'll have to clean this up and uh, we'll have to weld that in down here afterwards as well. Other than that, it looks, uh, like I said, pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's a little bit of a, like I said, a complex area to fix. So uh, I think that's going to be okay. Anyway, we'll uh, upload this so you know I'm still alive. And uh, we'll hopefully get out here uh, probably tomorrow. Have a good night.